Hello, welcome to Kit Day uh, with SoftLexCompany.com. It is our favorite day of the month. We are revealing our last kit, which I was just being reminded by Thomas, I have had a very hard time um, keeping secret. And um, and we are going to be, because <laughs> it has a special item in it that I've been really excited about. Um, so we'll get to look at that. And then uh, we've got some new items in the shop that we're going to take a look at. And then we will, of course, make jewelry because that's what we do here at Soft Blacks. We have our brand new kit for sale, which is our Parisian Couture uh, design kit. Hopefully I said that correctly. We always like... Um, update our kit names over time and sometimes they the old name sticks in my head so hopefully hopefully i have the right kit name hi robin hi gail it's so good to see you guys so we added a bunch of new things to the website today um not just the brand new kit parisian, parisian couture um but we also added the colorful soul paint bundle which has five colors in ultimate paint from our friends at Vintage. We added three of these pop out blanks that you can use with that ultimate paint to make things like pendants and connectors um, and charms. And they're, they're beautiful, made in the USA. Um, they are made in wood and then they have just beautiful images on them that you can paint. And you know, our girl, Kristen, is a painter. And so I felt like this was sort of a no brainer um, to try this out with Vintage and, and see how it goes. So I am excited to see what you guys think about this. We have a little sample in the kit today. I had to open the kit pre-show because I needed a picture of it for um, future projects that I'm working on. And so I already opened it, but we're going to go through everything that's in the kit as soon as everybody gets jumped on here. Hi, Patty. Hi, Diane. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's so good to see all of you. Um, here, let me come up here. I am... Hi. If I'm being honest, I'm not feeling great today. I My tummy is a little upset, but we're going to make it work anyway. And I'm sure I will be fine. The kids headed to the library this afternoon, so the house is nice and quiet, um, which is <laughs> always really lovely. And it's kit day. Thomas says, wave your arms like Kermit and dance. Oh, gosh. That's not for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a great day today. Um, regardless, we're going to take a look at the pastel design kit. We'll open it up. Well, it's opened. We'll look, take a look at what was inside of it. And then we will be making um, we'll be making some jewelry. Yeah. Oh, let me grab something. This is going to be an awkward grab because it's far away. But Kristen just reminded me. When I was in the office, I grabbed a copy of Seed Bead Revolution, um, which we were talking about last week with Danielle Wicks. She had taken this project on the cover and made her own version of it. And then I also took that project and made my own version of it um, using the um, new desert landscape pieces from Tierra Cast. So I'm going to um, just give you a quick look through. You can find it on Amazon. If you want to grab it, uh, you can do that. And um, But I was just going to peek in it. And then Kristen and I are planning to do a show with Seedbeed Revolution again and revisit some of our old designs. Kristen says, you don't have to buy yourself a fresh copy, Kristen. I have some copies in the office. So don't worry about that. I'll send you one. <laughs> you can only find the proof. So it's got 30 creative projects using seed beads and soft flex wire. This was um, a, a project done by um, our forward from Sweet Nile. This was a project done by just Kristen and I. Um, 
we did everything. We did from the editing to the photos. We worked with a photographer, but we did all the beauty shots. I did all of these, a lot of these images myself. And then the step-by-step -step images as well. Um, I did a lot of those. And then Kristen did all of the graphic design work. And I um, did all of the editing. So there's some really fun projects in here. And we're going to kind of revisit it, I think, later this year. And see what new parts and pieces have come out in the last five years that maybe we could incorporate into some of these designs. And just revisit some of the classic goodness, like using... Softflex wire on a kumihimo. It's a big one. Making links. There's a nice little Green Girl Studios um, pendant. She did the takeover in the Great Beat Extravaganza yesterday. I love her stuff. So beautiful. All of the projects come in two colorways. So that's kind of fun. You can see how the different colors look. I love this one. Kristen did this one. It reminds me of um, like a woven rug. It's really, 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 um, really um, unique, like a really unique piece. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, I would have never thought to do that. And it's so cool. So lots of fun ideas. If you're looking for a little inspiration, you can pick up our book, Seed Bead Revolution, on Amazon, and it'll give you some really fun ideas. And if you do have it, you have a copy already, if you want to go to Amazon and give us a review, that would be splendid. Some new fresh reviews, I think, would be really quite helpful. So, yeah, it was it's just a really lovely book, I think if I do say so myself. And um, let's get busy here, though. We got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so the big surprise in the kit, Parisian Couture, the big surprise in the kit was that we included a bottle of Ultimate Paint uh, by Vintage in their brand Colorful Soul. And this paint is pretty new to the market. They replaced their... Uh, patina paints with this paint in the last year and um, it is permanent to wood metal leather resin and more cleans up with water make sure you shake the bottle the bottle real well the color included in the kit is opalite which is kind of a soft uh, purple color almost like a lavender um, but you want to make sure you really shake it up to be able to see that pretty color. I'm actually not going to use it today. Hopefully you guys don't feel disappointed. But we're going to have a whole show about it in a week with Jess from Vintage. She will be joining us on uh, Wednesday of next week. Let me look and see what the date is for that. Um, April 6th. So Wednesday, April 6th, she'll be joining us at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Um, yeah, gosh, spring break is coming quickly. I notice. <laughs> um, so she and she will be demonstrating um, not only how to use it on this little pendant, but then she'll have some other techniques and things to share with us because today in our shop, we added five colors that are different than the one in the kit. We added citrine, we added petalite, we added green opal, we added moonstone, and we added blue fluorite. So you can go get one or two, or you can buy them as a bundle and get 10% off um, by buying all five. And then you can kind of mix and match those colors together. And uh, Jess will be using this color palette next week when she joins us on the live show. So you can get those on the website, softlexcompany.com. And we also added these, which are really interesting. 
these little pieces pop out They're They're um, kind of stickered on right now. This is the way it's going to come is in a single sheet of wood that's been trimmed and then um, has a pattern put into it. It's going to pop off of here and we're going to let Jeff show us how to do that next week too. And um, then she's going to show us some different painting techniques with these three pop outs that we have available. Again, you can buy just one or two, but if you buy all three, then you get 10% off in a little bit of a, of a bundle. <laughs> Kristen saying, ooh, ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Kristen does with the paints. She is our um, paint in-house painter. So it's gonna be really fun to see what she ends up doing. Let's see, Sue says, I like that you have the whole placements on those pieces. Yeah, there's a lot I was noticing um, since you bring that up, Sue. I was noticing one of them. Was it this one? Oh, maybe it was this one. Yeah, it has two holes here. So this is actually a separate piece, a connector. And then it's got this rainbow shape that's like a pendant. But look at these pieces, there's two holes. So you can use them like as the connector in the center of your bracelet. Um, and there's other ones like that, like this has two holes and this one has two holes. So it's gonna be really fun to experiment with these. If you guys really like them, if we find that they're doing well, then we will bring in other styles and other colors of the colorful um, sole paint as well. Let's see, Lydia's asking, will we need to sand the sides of the wood after they're popped out? I'm curious too, Lydia. We're gonna learn all about it next Wednesday. So it's up in the, in the shop now, if you wanna buy it now, we'll probably be shipping fairly quickly. You may even have your supplies in hand for next week to paint along with us. If you have the kit and you just wanna paint the one piece and then decide later if you'd like to get more, um, you can do that too. I do have a very limited amount of them because we weren't sure. We've never sold paint before. We weren't sure how many we would need. Um, so just keep that in mind. If we see it's going quickly, then we'll try to reorder. It is something we can reorder, thankfully. Um, but it may sell out would be the only issue. Are there no bead strands to go with the new kit? Yes, Robin. Because we had new bead strands in the middle of the month, we added these two new bead strands. I didn't order a new bead strand to match the Parisian Couture. So we do still have these three bead strands in stock if you want to grab any of these. We've got this beautiful um, green that kind of went with our um, pastel party kit and actually matches this green fluorite really pretty or green opal is what they're calling it. Really pretty. We have that one available. And then we had, um, gosh, what was this called? Soybean. Really pretty. That one's still available and kind of matches our citrine color. And then, of course, we have our very Perry, which kind of matches our opalite. <laughs> we were kind of going for colors this spring, thinking of our quad and being able to sort of match them up. Um, so this is, again, the color that is in the kit. And then these are all individual colors that are available separately. And we will talk about it at, in great length next week. Um, with Jess from Vintage. So we did put this piece into the kit as well for experimenting. This can also um, go onto metal. So any of your Tierra cast pieces, any of your Vintage metals, those are all a possibility too. If you have any of the wood pendants from Andrew, from Allegory Gallery, I would think you could probably paint those with this as well. Um, and we will kind of play around with that idea uh, with the expert next week. So you'll find this beautiful little piece in your kit along with the 
paint. And then we also included three bead strands, check glass bead strands. I know I saw that Kristen. We're down to one or two of the green fluorite left. Um, Rochelle, yes, the opalite is only available in the pastel party kit, and there are only a few of those kits left. You can find those on the website. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now is what is in that kit. So these three bead strands, this colorful sole paint, this pendant, and then move ourselves over here. And then we've got our 10 foot spool of softlax that's in the kit is the fluorite color, which is a really beautiful sage green. Um, one of my favorite colors. I fought hard for this color. It almost got discontinued, but I think it's such a pretty color and mixes so well with so many other colors. Um, so you get a 10 foot spool of this beautiful sage green wire. Um, which is about a an eight dollar value, seven eighty nine, just by itself um, in a retail price. You've got that, that, that. We put in um, these hibiscus flowers. I'm so in love with them. This is one of my favorite colors to design with, and then I think this is one of my favorite bead shapes. So I was really excited that we were able to put this into this kit. Kim says, I saw the pastel bead mix and loved it. So I ordered, but I'm stuck for about 40 minutes trying to fix my account info. Oh no. You can always email info at softlixcompany.com and they can probably help you out. Yes, I agree. Fluorite is really neutral. It's really, really pretty. Kristen forgot about, um, are you the hibiscus beads? They're so pretty. I love them. I love them too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're really, really pretty. I think they're like the highlight besides the paint. They're the highlight of the kit for me. Um, we have our normal findings that we always include. All of our beading kits come with everything you need to make jewelry, even if you're just starting out except for tools. So you will always get your wires. You'll always get at least one clasp, if not more. And then you'll always get some of our um, top of the line two by two millimeter crimp tubes to match the wire. Um, or if we're doing craft wire in the kit, which does happen from time to time, then um, you'll get findings that make sense for craft wire. Maybe you won't get crimps in that kit, but you'll get uh, still get clasps and ear wires and things. And then, of course, the spectacular bead mix from our friends over at Jesse James Beads. They do a custom bead mix for us for every kit. And um, this is really, really lovely. When I opened it, I told Kristen it kind of took my breath away. I wasn't expecting for some reason for it to be this beautiful. Um, but they really did a fantastic job on this particular mix. It's really pretty. And if you have Easter vibes going, you're starting to think about Easter and beautiful spring jewelry, I think this mix is going to just like kind of hit it out of the park. It's got some really nice filigree cones. It's got some really nice bead caps in there and metal beads as well as some check glass and crystal. Um, lots of good stuff in there to dig into. So this is our pastel party uh, design kit. And uh, you can still order it on the website if you, if you haven't yet. Um, but it is very limited in supply that's left. Most people today will start ordering our Parisian couture design kit, which is the brand new one um, that we're just coming out with. And um, this one's going to be really fantastic, too. It's got some of my favorite colors in it. Um, and it's it's a very sweet kit. So I'm excited for you guys to, to grab that. Here's the way the mystery kits work. If this is brand new to you, you buy your mystery kit. 
you join our SoftLex Very Important VIB Studio group, please do not reveal the contents of your kit in a design or as a kit before reveal day. I will reveal the kit and then you can start posting your designs to the group using the contents of the kit. Uh, usually it's the last Wednesday of the month um, when I reveal the kit and we'll make a design or two using it. And then it's your turn to post those pictures of your designs by the deadline posted. And every design you post is an entry to win our next kit. And the winner is chosen at random. So it's not about who makes the best design or anything of that sort. It's more about we're all inspiring each other to make jewelry and lifting each other up. And we choose one person at random. Who is our winner today? I said congratulations to them, but their name is slipping my mind. Maybe Thomas can remind us. Who was the big winner um, from our last kit? Um, so we can all say congratulations to them. Thank you so much, Lois. Lois says, kids are always awesome. Rochelle asks, what are your favorite colors? Will I reveal what's in the kit if I say what my favorite colors are? <laughs> I'm so bad at secrets. Why am I in charge of the design kit secret every month? <laughs> Okay, so we'll see this next week. Um, I'm really excited for Jess. I don't think Jess has ever visited with us um, from over at Vintage. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Kristen will be there too. And we'll both have a set of paints and we'll have these same wooden pieces. So we'll all be creating together and learning from Jess. So make sure you get some of those paints if you want to or set aside if you need, if you feel like you need help with how to use this. Set this aside and let's do it with Jess uh, next week. Um, right here on the Softlux Company live show at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll all hang out together. In the meantime, let's make something here. Since I'm not feeling excellent, I'm thinking I'm going to try to keep it maybe on the simple side today. But let's see where we go. I'm just emptying out. I'm going to put my crimps into my, I'll just put them right here for now. My crimp bin seems to have gone missing, of course. And then um, we've got two pairs of ear wires here. If you, when you get these, you'll have so many beads. You won't just make two pairs of earrings and one necklace or bracelet you'll probably make a, a mixture of things and you'll need a few more findings. So it never hurts to pick up some more ear wires, some more crimps, some more lobster clasps or whatever clasps you prefer to design with so that you have enough, especially if you're brand new um, to beading. Let me grab my, I usually try to keep my tools really simple for this too. Uh, to join, all you have to do is buy our next kit, Donna. So if you want to join for next month, you would go buy our Parisian Couture kit. And that just, um, that would get you going for next month. Oh, Robin posted her pictures. Can't wait to see. Hi, Jessica. Glad you're here. Lydia says, you have to watch. You should wear that to the next live sale. Oh, who are you talking to, Lydia? <laughs> I want that dish. Oh, I know. Everybody wants that dish. I get questions about this dish all the time. Um, it's a haze tray, and my husband got it for me, I think, for Valentine's Day, if I remember. Um, he got me four of them, and... I ended up using them for bead trays and they just are, um, people always comment on them. <laughs> I know. Wanda, I know. It's, what a pain. I'm the least organized person. Hey, did you guys see my bead closet though? I'm pretty proud of that. I posted a picture into the VIB group. Um, pretty proud of how that's looking. 
my bead closet has been a horrendous mess. And yes, I need a bead closet. <laughs> Because I just do. Pastel Party Trio went in onto the website today, too. If you want to get all three colors, you can do that as well. Um, it will be one of the colors that was in the kit, the fluorite. But you can also pick up the turquoise and the pink, which, of course, kind of matches our colors. See how we're doing all that? Making it work together so nicely. Okay, so I'm in love with these, so I'm definitely using these today. I'm thinking um, this purple is kind of calling my name. I'm thinking I might want to do some of that as well. That baby blue is really pretty too. Look at how pretty those colors are together, that turquoise and purple. So pretty. Oh, lost my bead. I've also been really admiring these. They're inside the mix. They're kind of like a bead, um, like a bead cap. But I think you would want to use it where you can see it. I wonder what it would look like dangling. Oh, and they have them in two colors in here. They have like a, a fluorite green and then they also have that light purple. It's hard to kind of tell the difference. Let me flip it over. You can see the difference on the back better. Jessica, I don't think this kit is sold out yet, but I can't say. Maybe Kristen can look. It was close. It was really close to being sold out. I'm just gonna cut a decent sized piece of wire because I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Um, and then I can kind of play around with it. So again, I'm using the Softlex fluorite wire that was in the pastel party design kit. And I'm thinking this might be interesting to have kind of dangle. I wonder what would happen if I put them back to back. Oh, there's a third color. There's like a white one too. What would happen if I put them back to back and then crimp it? Hmm. That's interesting. I like that. So let's go ahead and crimp that in place. And then we can decide what we want to do up above it. So I'm going to come down. I don't want to get so close that these are going to get not sit nicely. You know what I mean? Like if you tighten it up too much, they're going to be really funky. Ooh, look how it is when you can face it out this way. Or we can work with it this way, which I think also looks really interesting. And then you'll get the sparkle from the side. So I'm going to go just a little bit above it and get my magical crimpers. I do not pre-plan projects for the kit. So if you're brand new to my kit demo, I am working on the fly, which means this could work. It could very well not work. There, sometimes these are brand new components even to me, like these little bead cap things. And I'm learning too. Oh. You could even glue those together if you were worried about them separating, but I think they'll stay nicely just like that now that it's crimped in place. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom of my earring. And then I don't know if this will fit on two wires. If I Do I need two wires? I think I need two wires. I'm just going to trim away. My extra wire and see how this looks next. This sweet little hibiscus flower. Okay, how am I feeling about that? And then is there something else that I want to put there? Like how does this metal bead? How does that? Ooh, I like that. 
What if I were to put a bead on either side of this metal bead? How would that feel? Let's see. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. So you could figure out how to have it like this, the flowers facing out, which is really pretty. Or you could even do the side, which is just going to give you like some purple, but a really neat texture. I'll probably face it out, I would think. Don't you guys think facing it out? Oh, thank you. Sue says, I always like Kit Reveal Day. It reminds me to get the next kit. Oh, I love Kit Reveal Day too. Oh, good. Sue likes where it's going. Oh, Trish, I'm so glad you made it. Driving is the pits. Um, oh, Kristen says there are a few of these kits left. Spend $65. You also get a 30-foot spool of free beading wire in our rosé all-day color. So that could be kind of cool too. Okay, so next up, we're going to take our crimp. And if I want... That one went flying. Let's try that again. If I want my loop to face this direction, then I'm probably not going to straighten my wire. Let me see. Or will I straighten? Yeah, I will straighten my wire. If I want it to face this direction, I'll let it crisscross. But if I want it to face out, I want to kind of straighten my wire to the best of my ability. And one way that I do that is I will just gently, I'm just holding on to the crimp. I'm not compressing. I'm just going to pull this down. And then I'm going to pull that wire to the side so that it's nice and straight inside of there, side by side. And then hopefully my loop will face that front ways direction. Whereas if I let the wires crisscross, it will kind of turn that loop to the side. The nice thing about Softflex is it is so forgiving. So if you find that it's turning a little bit, you can always kind of turn it back by doing some of this stuff till you get it going the direction that you want it to go. And then easy peasy, we just add our sweet little ear wire and we've got a really sweet earring. Now let's see if we can replicate it because sometimes the first one works great and then you try to do the second one and you're like, how in the heck did I do that? <laughs> Let's make sure it'll work again. And then hopefully I have enough. I just realized I may not have, oh good, I have, I just realized I might not have enough of these, but it looks like she gave us four. She meaning Sarah, um, Sarah James at Jesse James Speeds. So that was helpful. Having four is good in this case for an earring. This could also be a dangle from a necklace. It doesn't have to be an earring. It could be the center of your necklace if you wanted. So again, I'm going to kind of line those up. And now that I have one earring, I have something to kind of go and look at to make a similar earring. So if I want to match up those bottoms so that they're similar, they don't have to be identical, but similar enough. Nope. That's what I'm saying. If it works once, you'd think it'll work again, but it doesn't always work as well the second time. So we're going to we're going to double test it today. Okay, so I've got it all situated. I'm going to go ahead and compress with my magical crimpers that creates a little ravioli shape, little four corner 
square and then I turn it on its side and I go ahead and compress in those four corners. Go around it. If you know anybody who is creative, but they haven't tried jewelry making, but you think they would love jewelry making, get them a kit. Part of my, um, the reason why I love making these kits is they're a really good entry point for someone who is new to beading. They're also fantastic for inspiration for those of us who've been beading a long time. I mean, I find them very inspiring. But I think um, the best thing about them is they're such a good entry point for someone who's brand new to this hobby. And um, we want to encourage our friends and family to do some beading. I actually have a cousin um, who I haven't seen in a long time. And I saw she made a bracelet. She posted it on Facebook the other day. And I'm thinking I'm going to send her a kit. I think I'll send her um, Parisian Couture as a surprise and um, encourage her to keep beating, you know. Okay, so we're trying to face this direction. We're going to straighten those wires to the best of our abilities. Come in and get that crimp situated. All right. That looks pretty good. And if it, again, if it's turning a little bit, you can kind of like fidget with it till it's going straight. And there we go. Two really sweet little earrings. I would have never thought that's how I would end up using those little bead caps. Um, but they look great. I like them like that, kind of facing out and shining. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's saying. Jenny's late, but you're here. We're so glad to see you. Oh, Trish has to go over to YouTube. We stream to both YouTube and Facebook. So if you're ever having issues, you can hop on uh, in another space. Oh, thank you. Robin says they're adorable. Oh, Jan says they are. That's how I got started. I took a class and then found you guys on Facebook, started getting these kits and haven't stopped making stuff since. I love to hear that. That's fantastic. That's really, really good because that's a big portion of why uh, we do these kits. It's not to make a ton of money because we don't. <laughs> we don't make a ton of money off of the kits, but they bring a lot of inspiration. And I think they're really great for those who are just learning how to bead as well as inspiring those who've been beading for a long time. Thank you guys for all of those really sweet comments. I'm seeing all of them. I know, Kim, we were thinking, um, thinking about spring, definitely when we made this kit. Let's see. Uh, Donna says, how often and when are you on Facebook? I'm on Facebook every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. And my good friend, Kristen, my coworker, is on on Mondays. What time are you on these days, Kristen? I don't remember. I feel like you're on maybe at 1 o'clock Pacific. But your time kind of changes. Um, I'm going to make another quick pair of earrings with similar components here. I think I'm just going to make like a sweet little loop earring. You know, just something easy. Since I'm not feeling amazing today, we're going to take it easy and just do some fun earrings and enjoy playing with the beads. 
Oh, let's see. Trish says she found Softlex right before the pandemic and has been going since and loves the kids so much. I'm so glad you found us. I love our little community. Um, we're just so, so blessed to have such a great community. Marcel says she has to watch on the replay. She joined late, but she's loving the colors. This is a really fun kit, Marisol. Um, Thomas, will you let us know if Kristen's not here anymore, what time her show is on on Mondays? I'm going to use that sweet little hibiscus right in the center. I am just in love with that bead. It's so cute. I'm just going to play around with what this might look like. Now, will the hibiscus turn if it's in an earring? Hmm. Because that will be kind of annoying, like if it turns sideways. Or will it sit up? Hmm. I wonder if I crimp it well enough on either side, if it'll kind of stay up like that rather than turn down, especially if I have these little, let's experiment, especially if I have these little things on the sides. Yeah, so we're on and we're on YouTube and we're on Facebook. And then if you follow us on Instagram and TikTok, we do separate videos there that are one minute videos that are pretty quick, um, but lots of fun. I'm trying to decide if I need another bead or if I'm good with that. Hmm. I wonder what these ones would look like. Free Spirit Beading is on at 1 p.m. Pacific, which would be 4 p.m. Eastern on Mondays. And that's my good friend, Kristen. Ooh, I am liking that white. I think that helps. I'm going to crimp on either side to see if I can get that hibiscus to stay in place with just like a little bit of a tightness. So... Let's do one side first. Let me grab, let me grab a bead stopper before I lose all my beads and, and then feel like I need to lose my mind. <laughs> no losing your mind today, right? Yes, and we have live sales too. So this is a bead stopper. It springs open. You put it on your wire and then that kind of allows you to work on the other side without worrying about your beads falling off. And I'm gonna get just a little, I have some of these little scraps here from before. I'm gonna take one of my scraps, string it into my crimp. And basically it's just giving me a little bit more of my nylon coating and my wire for my crimp to grab onto. And I will do this anytime I'm anchoring a crimp bead on a single strand, I will put kind of a dummy second strand in. So it's not, um, you're not going to see the second strand. It's not a part of the design other than an engineering part to allow that crimp to really hold on to it. And then I just come in and trim right up to the crimp tube. If I could sell these haze trays, I would totally sell them. <laughs> Everybody loves them. I've actually looked at the website because I'm like, maybe I should apply to be a wholesale vendor <laughs> for, these, for these trays because they're so popular. Okay, I think this will work. I'm kind of excited about this little engineering feet here to hold my hibiscus where I want it to be. Okay, so on the second side, it's going to be trickier because you've already got a crimp in place. So you're going to apply that same theory that you need two wires and bring it down here. Let me go a little more in the middle so I'm not so fidgety. Okay, so one thing about 
crimping beads in place is you want to get them how you want them to sit when they're naturally in place. If I do this straight, it's going to be just a little further, or excuse me, a little closer to the beads, and it's not going to have the bend or the give it needs to make this shape. So you want to make the shape that you're going for and then come in and just gently grab onto your crimp and pull it as close to your beads as you can get and make your ravioli. And then if you want to loosen up and go ahead and compress that ravioli into a little bead by going around and around it, you can do that without holding it in that shape. But you can see that built in a millimeter, two millimeters of space there that is needed when you're bending the wire with beads on it. And then I can come in. Okay, let's see when I bend this up. Yeah, it's not going to flop down as easily. I don't know if it'll be perfect but I think it's gonna probably stay pretty much like that shape. Okay, now I'm gonna take both wires and bring this down whatever size you want. And then I'm just gonna double back through with one of the wires to make a loop at the top that I can connect to my ear wire. And then you just kind of want to even out your sides. We'll make sure this side is equal to that side. The beads are falling to the middle, that everything kind of makes sense together. And then we can crimp it. I'm going to make this just a little smaller. Now, if you want to make your loop smaller, you just kind of pull on this bottom wire. And if you want to make this part bigger, smaller, you would move this part here. There we go. I like that little loop size. I think that'll be good. My little ravioli. And then flip it and compress. So again, I hope you guys are going to join us. Next Wednesday, we will have Jess from Vintage. She will be teaching us all about the colorful soul paints and the pop outs that we just added today. You can buy the colors of paint in a bundle and get 10% off, or you can buy the pop outs in a bundle and get 10% off. Um, or you can just bring your parts that you got in the kit, the opalite paint and the um, pendant part. And that will be great too. I think I'll make the second one on my own and then I will post pictures of all of my designs that I make with the kit. Everything I make goes onto our Instagram page and um, that's a great place to see what Kristen and I have been making. And then of course, all of our videos, our long videos live on YouTube and Facebook. Anytime you want to replay them, they are here for you to um to replay. If you missed it at the beginning, here are those new pop-outs that we just added. Really pretty. Lots of fun options. Very, We went for very spring um, patterns, so we thought that would be a lot of fun. I'm in love with this rainbowy piece. I can't wait to see what everyone does with it. So Kristen and I will be using it with Jess, and then... This was the color that came in the kit. And this was the piece that came in the kit. We'll be painting that next week. Jess will be doing, um, I asked her, hopefully she will be do, doing a demonstration of painting this with just the opalite paint. Um, since that's what you have in the kit and, and you don't need to buy more unless you want to. And then if you wanna add colors, you can buy these singly or you can buy them in a bundle um, and get the whole assortment. Kristen and I, as we're using these, we'll be using the whole assortment of five. Um, Kristen will probably do more painting than I will because um, that's just her wheelhouse, but I will be playing with these well. You can also paint the vintage metals. You can paint um, the Tierra cast metals. You can 
even paint things like this, I would assume, like this beautiful little rose flower. Probably paint stuff like that as well. So I'm curious to see how it all works, as I'm sure you are too. So join us next Wednesday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, permanent to wood, metal, leather, resin, and more. Make sure you shake it if you're using it before, um, before we have Jess on. You have to shake it up to get, uh, get it all mixed together. And of course, our new kit. New kit is Parisian Couture. So join us again next month. We will be here on the last Wednesday of April with Parisian Couture. And this does not have a matching bead strand because we have quite a few bead strands available on our website. We have three of them right now. So uh, you can pick up any of these though, and they work really well with the pastel party colors. Um, so that'll be, that's a lovely option too. Of course, we added new check glass beads last week. We added the new copper components from uh, Tierra Cast. So we've got lots of new stuff to play with. And then you get a three of free 30 foot uh, spool of our rose colored extreme, which is one of our outlet colors. You get a free 30 foot spool um, when your order is over a certain amount. Oh, yes, Brenda, the moonstone is kind of a silvery color. I'm curious, um, curious to see how it's going to look. But yeah, it has kind of a beautiful silvery, almost like a um, like a silver sparkle to it. And I may even afterwards open these up and do a little paint swab so that I can post it onto Instagram. For you guys to see so make sure you're following us on instagram um, to be able to see more about all of these wonderful things oh Ros rosalinda peppermint tea sounds so good i have some of that in the cabinet i'll check that out yeah i don't know why i'm not feeling great today but um just is what it is hi mr mike mike is one of the owners of softlex company it's always a treat when he joins us. He's also one of my very best, most beloved friends. So um, I'm always glad to see his name pop on here. Gail, um, who is the winner? Gail's asking Thomas, who was the winner for the last kit uh, that you posted earlier today? Oh, good. Jessica just got a bunch of colors. You can play with us next week. We're going to have so much fun. Oh, we have two winners, Kathy Vasquez and Paula Ruth Gospel won um, today. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you guys for posting your designs all through the month of March for a joyful beating. And then every month uh, with the kit, I feel like you guys give each other way more inspiration than we provide you um, through our videos just by constantly posting all of the designs you're making with the kit. You're giving other people lots of really great ideas on things that they can try and incorporate into their designs. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for being just a fantastic community in the VIB group. I love how you guys complement each other and lift each other up. And it's just a really safe space to post your work, even if you're brand new or if you have questions, I see you guys jump on there and help each other. And it's just beautiful. In a world that is just sometimes kind of a mess, it's a very nice place to hang out. Um, and I, I appreciate that because we all need that safe space these days. All right. Thank you, everybody. Go enjoy your kit. And if you get a chance, stop by the website and see all the new fun stuff that we added. And then, of course, I will be back next Wednesday with Miss Jess from Vintage. And you can catch Kristen on Monday. I wonder if she'll break open the paints early or if she'll wait. It'll be interesting to see what she does. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, thank you. And don't forget, if you haven't seen what was made with the last kit, Thomas posted a great blog post. I think he posted it today. Um, that's a recap. And so you can see uh, what was made using the Supernova design kit. And that's right on our website. He kind of does a, a recap of multiple designs in one place and it makes it easy to see it all. Okay, that's it for me. You guys can find us, of course, at softlexcompany.com. Have a great day, everybody.